All right, guys, welcome to another little video, Western Sharpies RC. Glad you could join me and hope everybody's doing all right out there. I thought I'd make a little video and share with you guys this uh, new accessory that I've been working on. It turned out pretty good. And uh, I've already posted it on, on my Facebook page if you're interested in maybe picking one of these up. I am selling them. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description. So just click the, uh, click the title albums and then semi-trailer jacks. You'll see in the description a little more info and then prices and all that. You can just send me a message there. But um, I thought I'd just show them off in a bit of detail. They're functional. Not quite like a real semi-trailer jack, but uh, still pretty neat. Um, he was asking me if I could make them in a 14 scale, so... Anyway, with a bit of catting and uh, some printing and sanding, painting, all that, it, it's all done now. So I started off making this in, in a larger scale. This is probably like an eight scale, just so I could see the operation of some of the pieces in, in a little more detail. So I made a mistake uh, on this one. I printed this uh, screw portion a little too wide and it kind of grinds going down. So I've since changed that and uh, you can kind of see it's a little looser in there now. And it also, uh, being looser, it accommodates a little bit of paint now without worrying about it um, scratching off. So anyway, this is kind of the way it operates. Um, it's 130 mils to the top and then 105 all the way retracted. So you got about 25 mil millimeters of uh, extension. So you know, I should show you the real way here. Take the little handle out and then uh, stick it in the tube here or the, the handle portion, handle holder, and just spin that around. Kind of like a corkscrew, so. And it's got a little taper on the end there to butt up against the cylinder. So the wheels roll. I mean, I can make these in any scale, any color. Just uh, like I said, if you're interested, leave me a message on my page. So, I mean, you'd probably have a hell of a time spinning it around, um, trying to actually jack up the trailer because the actual jacks um, have a ratcheting um, kind of system right here in this portion. And there was just no way I was gonna be able to uh, achieve that being so small, but it's kind of, it's supposed to work like, you know, back and forth like that. And it just ratches up that way you're, you're able to do it standing in front of the trailer. But anyway, this is kind of the next best thing. I think technically you're supposed to have two of these things under there. Safety first. So you can kind of fool around. I'm, I'm sure there's a few different applications you can use these for, not necessarily a semi-trailer, but um, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'll show you this here while I got this out. We're working on these little I-beams. Wanted to make a, a scale load. And one by one, they're coming along. I just printed them in gray. Same thing with these, I can make them in any size. Uh, if you're interested, just leave me a message. But these ones turned out pretty good. I'm gonna try to make enough to fill two trailers. You can kind of see here what they started off looking like. So I painted them, this is spray bombed them dark gray and then went around with some uh, brown paint to simulate a little bit of rust. Skinner in the back there, rocking it out. Anyway, one last thing I wanna show you guys. Um, I was thinking about maybe for a fraction of the price offering these things in the kind of the kit form or how they come off the printer. Um, this is the, the part that gobbles up a little bit of my time is removing all the, you know, the, uh, the rafts and the supports and all that stuff. Well, there's no real supports, but you got to sand and file to get everything to fit good. It doesn't just, you know, uh, snap together. So here you can see some of the, the little pieces, the tires, the, and then you can paint them whatever color you like. The little ring portion that goes over there. Um, and then the screw, there's the grip pad. So 
Anyway, I gotta make a few of these, so I thought I'd just show you what they look like. And there's a little metal, about a two mil metal rod I use for the axle. Not much to it, but a lot of work kind of in the end to get it all finished off. So that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one.